TX2K happened this past weekend in Houston, Texas. And big drag races like TX2K and big cities like Houston, Texas attract fast cars like a basketball player attracts clout-hungry Instagram models. And with all these fast cars and and they're often larger-than-life owners in the same city at the same time, there is bound to be at least a little bit of street racing. And TX2K has always been well-known for the races that, that happen outside of the racetrack. And with a lot of locals that maybe don't necessarily participate in the actual racing, wanting to see how fast their clapped-out Mustangs and Camaros are compared to the five six hundred thousand dollar gtrs and lamborghinis that are being raced at tx2k this weekend in response to this the houston police officers union has gone crazy on facebook making all sorts of posts that are very similar in nature to what wendy's would put on their twitter and making (laughs) fun of these street racers and also kind of taunting them a little bit and i discovered these through the 1320 video Instagram page. And it's honestly kind of hilarious, these Facebook posts. And I was honestly kind of surprised, mostly because I don't really spend a whole lot of time on Facebook for obvious reasons, but also because I didn't really expect, I'm assuming, respectable union, no less, to be making fun of a bunch of street racers and their previously mentioned, clapped out Camaros and Mustangs. And the post that really stood out and was featured on 1320 Video's Instagram page was the one that they made, I think before the weekend really started, about the weather and the street racing that was bound to take place. And the post read something like, Ah, 69 degrees and a strong chance of no street racing. Make sure you have good toe points for the Wreckers to come get your Mustangs, Camaros, Challengers, and Chargers out of the muddy ditches if you choose to be foolish with your Banks car tonight. And I just find it really funny for multiple reasons, not least of all that they knew enough about the street racers and the people that are going to be at TX2K and driving around during and after the event to specify the fact that one, they were in Chargers and Camaros, and also that their cars were not paid off and still owned by the bank. And I also find it pretty funny that they chose to ignore the faster cars and probably the ones that would be harder to catch in a Ford Explorer or whatever the Houston Police Department uses as their squad cars, which would, of course, be the GTRs and twin-turbo Lamborghinis and Audis. And it's just hilarious to me that a police officer somewhere in Houston took a break from fighting crime and put down his chocolate long john and massive cup of coffee for long enough to write this Facebook post making fun of street racers and all the other Facebook posts that they have making fun of street racers. And, like, this is pretty much a third of their whole Facebook page, from what I've seen at least. And it's just amazing that there's, like, some official police officers union out there that takes it into their hands to not only fight the crime, but make fun of the criminals. And I guess maybe it's just the time we're living in with like these more official, I guess, institutions kind of taking it on more of an edgy role or just saying more out-of-pocket things on the internet. And again, it's just wild to me that a bunch of police officers would like go this crazy about some 30-year-olds and ratty, clapped-out, Fox Body Mustangs with LSs and big turbos. And I have to wonder if this is just unique to Houston or if there are like other police officer unions in other big cities like Chicago or New York or Los Angeles, all of which have really big street racing and takeover scenes. And I wonder if those unions are also making fun of the street racers and more specifically, the ones that get arrested. Anyways, thanks for watching this video, and if you enjoyed the more informal or short content, I guess, please make sure to tell me in the comments, and if you got this far through the video and enjoyed it, please consider liking and subscribing. Anyways, I'll see you in the next video.